Hey guys, this is that guy's bacon and welcome back to another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. This squad builder is going to be about the team of the year based on your FIFA's voting. And in goal, we have Manuel Neuer, 97 rated, 97 diving, 94 handling, 99 kicking, 96 reflexes, 69 speed, and 98 positioning. The best goalkeeper in the game is going to stay that way for quite a while. In the center back positions, we have Sergio Ramos, gave him a 95 rated card, 88 pa uh, pacing, 71 shooting, 81 passing, 76 dribbling, 98, rate, 98 defending, 92 physical. Paired alongside him, we have Gerard PK, giving him also a 95 rated card with 68 pace, 80 shooting, 85 passing, 78 dribbling, 99 defending, and 94 physical. And his right back is going to be his his right back in real life, Danny Alves, with a, 80, with a 92 rated, 97 pace, 80 shooting, 90 passing, 93 dribbling, 88 defending, 82 physical. And making his left back appearance is David Alaba, the world's best left back, without a shadow of a doubt. We gave him a 92 rated with 94 pace, 78 dribbling, 86 passing, 87 dribbling, 90 defending, and 84 physical. This will be probably be one of the cards I'm looking forward to packing the most along with Neymar. It's because I love David Alba and he, he just plays everywhere for me and he's just great. So our first midfielder is a debut player with Mr. Paul Pogba. I increased his team of the season card by 2 and that's where I got all of his stats. 87 pace, 97 dribbling, 93 shooting, 87 defending, 92 pace, or er, passing, I'm sorry, and 97 physical. This card is going to be the best card in FIFA 16, Ultimate Team, or probably even the best card in FIFA, in FIFA Ultimate Team in general, because it's just, it's crazy. It can play anywhere on the pitch, and it's going to do a great job at it. And now the best B uh, midfield in the BBVA is James Rodriguez with a 94 rated card, uh, 88 pace, 94 dribbling, 95 shooting, 55 defending, 97 pay, uh, passing, and 86 physical. He's also a debut player, just like Paul Pogba, and he's going to be the best, he's going to be the best midfielder in the BBVA. Once Iniesta retires, and this he's gonna get he's getting older, so he's gonna go down, 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 and rating slow. And Hamas Rodriguez is just getting older and better, so it's gonna make him probably the best uh, BBVA midfielder. We have Iniesta making his reappearance as well. Uh, I said he's old, but I'm not gonna drag bag on. This dude has great. He's great. He's a great technical player. He's a great passer. And that's why he's 99 and 98 dribbling. So we have our first winger in the attack. It's a debut player. Mr. Neymar over here, with 97 rated card, I just increased his team to the season card by 2, and that's where we get all the stats, 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 96 shooting, 847 defending, 87 pa uh, passing, and 77 physical. Probably going to be the player that I'm looking forward to packing the most without a shadow of a doubt, because I love Neymar in this game, and I feel like he just plays really well. So, our striker for this team of the year has to be uh, Ronaldo. Whether or not he gets a position change, I will, I'm not certain of, but whether or not he actually gets an 98 rated or 99 rated card, I don't know either, because Messi and Ronaldo both could get a 99 rated card and be the first time in FIFA 16 Ultimate Team, or FIFA in general, where there are two cards, both having a 99 rated card. So, Messi here with a definite 99 rated card, because I believe he will win the Ballon d'Or, and we increased his stats by two for uh, from last year's team of the year. He has 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 98 shooting, 43 defending, 96 passing, and 74 physical. All in all, this team of the year is pretty stacked, and maybe next year we may have, may have some more BV, more BVVA players. Definitely not the goalkeeper though. But yeah, next year we could probably see a full BVVA team of the year, which would be crazy because it'll be maybe the first time I think where the team of the year will have a full 100 chemistry team. Just for that sake, I don't think EA Sports is gonna ever do that. But this has been that guy's bacon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, I will see all of y'all in the next video. Until then. Peace.